Hello everybody, this is Fragger here from Achievement Hunter, here to be in the next episode of Retroactive. The series we explore a game or a series of games from all over video gaming. This allows us to decide if you would like to see a remake, a restart, a sequel, or any of the numerous other ways that that can be put into motion. And that brings us to this week's target, the Jedi Knight series. The Jedi Knight series began with a game called Dark Forces all the way back in February of 1995, where you play as Cal Katarn and you run around and you shoot stormtroopers while you try to do stuff like grab the Death Star plans. Yeah, that's where they came from, Kyle, because he's a badass. That was then followed up by a game that was titled Jedi Knight. You get to go around, stab people in the face, because someone decided it was a smart idea to kill your father. So you go on a quest, and you eventually learn that you can be a Jedi. So you become a Jedi, and you use that to help you on your quest for revenge, because that's exactly what Jedi do. Okay, to be honest, you're given the choice of being a dark side or a light side dude, and either way, you're stabbing more people in the face. So, hooray lightsabers. Then after that was an expansion pack for Jedi Knight called Mysteries of the Sith, which adds on to Jedi Knight, obviously, where you play as Kyle for a little while, then you eventually play as Mara Jade, someone who, those of you who know your extended universe knows, she's a little bit of a big deal. Yeah. Don't want to dig too deeply into that, because if you want to sit down and play these games, you damn well should, because they're goddamn fantastic. After that was a game that was called Jedi Outcast, the first game in the series developed by Raven Software, and you once again play as Kyle, stabbing people in the face with his lightsaber because that's how he rolls or at least after like level six or so because he's like i don't want to be a jedi anymore Brr. but other than me and my mocking tone it's actually got a really good storyline seeing a pattern here the series is then finished by a game that is called jedi academy in my opinion the weakest in the series it's an okay game in all gameplay wise but the story is fairly lacking and you have the customizable protagonist type thing as opposed to, once again, Kyle or someone established in the canon like Mara Jade. So, so I guess that's that. Like most FPSs, this game has a wide variety of guns that you can use from, from, you know, your standard Stormtrooper Blaster to an actual Carbonite gun. You can also get thermal detonators too, but let's be honest, once you get a lightsaber in your hands, how many people are actually going to switch back to their guns? Really crazy people, because you're crazy. Lightsabers are awesome. The other thing that's really cool that this game does is it actually has a wide variety of places that you go to, like most Star Wars games do. This place, you range, you range from going to places like Nar Shada to Bespin to Yavin 4, which is all pretty damn cool, and I gotta give them some credit for that. And that brings us to this point, where we talk about what I would like to see from the series. I would love to see a new game in this line. I love the Jedi Knight series. It's one of my all-time favorite series of games. I would love to see a new one. I don't really need to see the old ones remade. They're they're fantastic where they are, except for one. Jedi Knight's in really bad shape. If you try to play it on a modern system, it tends to get very cranky with you, especially if you buy it digitally. It does not like it when you do shit to it because the cutscenes are very wonky when you're playing it on a modern system, and there's also no music. That kind of sucks. And if you would like to play this entire series, you can head on over to Steam, and they have the entirety of the Jedi Knight series, and it's fantastic. And that's going to do it for me this week, so I guess I'll see you guys next time.